Hi, my name is Amanita Coote. I'm a Christian author. I write Christian living books, Bible studies, and devotionals. And as of February, I am now writing Christian romance books. Yay! So I want to say um, thank you to Tony, who has been a great source of inspiration for me because I love her books. And she's invited me to read an excerpt from one of my romance books that I published. And I'm going to be using, uh, I'm going to be reading for my Kindle because I have not yet gotten my physical copies. I'm reading from the first book that was published, which is actually the prequel for my Orange Valley series. The book is called His Perfect Wife. Tanya added extra salt to her fries before dragging him through a mixture of mayonnaise and ketchup. They were seated in one of the booths in the jukebox diner, a 50s-style restaurant that served the best burgers and fries in her opinion. She looked up. Mac watched her with a smile on his face. What? She brushed her hand across her cheek. Did she have salt on her skin? You're still doing that. He gestured to the meal in front of her with a grin. Of course. She shifted on her chair, uncomfortable with the memories that surfaced. She and Mac had eaten a lot of fast food together because most of the time they'd been dating. It was all they could have afforded. She'd been using her gap year to get work experience and save money for college, while he'd been completing his degree in theology at the local college. Her appetite disappeared. You said we needed to meet? Her tone was sharper than she'd intended, but he didn't need to know that. Just as he didn't know, need to know that, she was struggling to maintain some distance between them. Max sighed. I'm not your enemy, Tanya. No. She gave him a sarcastic smile. You're just a man who broke my heart. Is that why you're dating my cousin? Her eyebrows shot up. What? Are you trying to hurt me? Pain filled his eyes. Is that why you're dating him? She tilted her head. Why would my going out with Craig bother you, Mac? She picked up her burger, needing to do something with her hands. You broke up with me. For your own good? His voice came out in a shout. She put on a burger. What does that mean? He scrubbed a hand over his face. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Oh no. She jabbed a finger at him. You do not get to backpedal your way out of this. Her mind raced as she tried to make sense of his words. He'd broken up with her for her own good? What good could come from a breakup with your first love? So that's just a scene that kind of gives you a little bit of a insight into what was happening because this is actually a second chance with your first love um, romance so um thanks again to tony for this opportunity and i hope you'll check out my books